Captain Bongo Jongo here with another guide and this time we are gonna learn how to conquer all PvE content in this game but we're gonna do it solo because we don't need fucking clans and we hate Zergs, right? So let's uh, get started, yes? We are gonna need a stiletto, a pickaxe, a hatchet, clean underwear, some darts and that's about it. Oh yeah, and you also need a repeater to shoot the darts, because you can't throw the darts for some reason. Let's start with the little pink animals, because they are the easiest PvE content in this game. All you have to do is just fucking whack them over the head with anything. About anything does the job, just a pickaxe is not very high damage, but it will do the job, if you don't miss like me. And if you use the pickaxe on it, it will give you animal fat. Now... If you use the hatchet, you can do the same thing, but you are actually one-shotting them. And if you keep using it, you get hide. Amazing! Let's move uh, to the nurse now. These animals are actually more dangerous, as you can see. They are very aggressive, and they will fuck you up if you go down on them. The trick here is to get on top of them like it's a dog. Well, actually, like it's a horse more than a dog, because if you get on top of a dog, well, the dog won't be very happy. The best way to do it on a stiletto is wait by the wing, uh, by the legs, and then jump down on top of it, and then just whack it with the, your weapon. Doesn't matter what you use, you can use a pickaxe, you can use a sword, whatever. It will start moving, but you will still be able to stay on top of it, which is really good. And you just keep hitting until it dies. Pretty simple, really. Now, using a hatchet will give you hide, while the pickaxe is gonna give you cheating, or kitten, or whatever. It's up to you what you use on it, and depends what you really need. And now, on to something that's uh, particularly dangerous. Uh, the flying dragons are known as killing, and you find them on the hard maps, on the lava tile, and a few other maps. You can also find them in the upcoming iron map, but... They are not as abundant there. Abundant? 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 Ab whatever. You get the idea. There's not many of them. You will want to find one of these nests. And there will always be one of them that will keep running around. Or well, flying around the nest. And just landing from time to time. What you want to do is get on top of the nest. And whack him in the face, pretty much. He will fly away, but you just grapple on and just reel in until you are next to him, and just keep hitting until he's dying. Obviously, a wingsuit would be really helpful, but I'm a shit wingsuit player, so it is what it is. But usually you don't really lose a lot of HP, and they don't fly that high, so you should be fine. You will want to run up to wherever it landed, and just smack him with a sight. Just like this. And now I remember that I forgot to mention the sight, but good thing you are watching the video before doing everything. And you're gonna get feathers and hide. This is a really good source of feathers and actually hide as well. So you're gonna get like around 300 hide and 250 feathers from each killing. Which is pretty good, especially for a solo player, you're not gonna need a lot more hide. Now what you can do, you can camp one nest and just wait for the respawn because it's pretty fast. Or you can go to the other nests that are usually around you. And you can kill those. Be careful because they are gonna attack your wings. But other than that, just retract the wings. And you should be fine. Now, on to the main event. You want to find the crab. Get him to aggro you. Like this. Yeah, he's, he's not very happy. And you want to dismember, dismember, dis, disassemble? Yeah, disassemble the legs of the walker. Make sure you actually have materials to repair them after. And what I didn't do in this video, but you should do because you are much smarter than I am, you should also retract the wings because the crab is gonna attack your wings and fuck them up as well. And after that, you just go into the repeater and just shoot him. Really, it's that simple. Because you don't have legs, your walker is not gonna get bounced around as much. Uh, it will start bouncing a bit a few times, like in the video before. But eventually your walker is gonna land on the right side and you should be able to just keep hitting him. Because you are inside the repeater, he's not gonna be able to really do any damage to you. And your walker is gonna take damage, but he's gonna take damage only on the soft sides and stuff like that. Because 
the devs didn't think that we are gonna do something like this. I imagine that they might change it, but honestly, I don't know, are they even watching my videos? And if you are, can I get some keys to give away to people? This is gonna take some time, so let me just skip to the important part. Now, as you can see, he's pretty dead. If you hit him with a pickaxe, you're gonna get bone splinters, but I really don't recommend you doing this, because if you actually hit him with a hatchet, you're gonna get kitten or cheating, or... Hmm, let me see. Chitin. 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 This is a very good source of... Chitin. So, go hunt the crabs before they nerf it, I guess? That's it, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, yeah, by the way, do you like my uh, big oil spending in the background? Mm, it's sexy.